Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing a revision on solve for x for all grade 9 equations. Now in grade 9 you only do linear equations. What linear means is that you have x to the power of 1. Now when we are doing linear equations the rule is to get the x on one side and the constants on the other side. Now constants refers to whole numbers or any numbers that don't have x attached to it. Let us take the following example. If I give you 3x plus 4 is equal to 2x minus 9. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get all the constants on one side and I'm going to try and keep all the unknowns on one side. So I'm going to take the 2x and move it to my left. I'll have 3x minus 2x is equal to minus 9 and then I'm taking my 4 over so it becomes minus 4. Now in maths you always hear the teacher will tell you that it must be balanced. What I do to one side I do to the other side. What that means is if I had 3x plus 4 is equal to 2x minus 9. Now what I said here was that I brought my minus 2x to the left hand side. What you're doing mathematically but you do not need to show this method is I'm subtracting 2x on the right hand side and then I'm subtracting 2x on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side it's simply cancelling out but it is still staying on the left hand side. So can you see that is what I had done here. So when we say move it to the right and move it to the left all you have to remember is that I'm changing the sign because what we're doing is we're taking the existing value and we're getting rid of it. So we're doing the exact opposite and the opposite of addition is subtraction. Now if you take the plus 4, the opposite of plus 4 is minus 4. So when we take it over, what did we do? We said minus 4. So on the left hand side, the plus 4 and minus 4 is cancelling. So I'm not rewriting it. So why I'm telling you this is that now you often hear teachers say what I do on one side I do on the other side but then you don't see her putting the minus on the left hand side but you see her putting it on the right hand side. So what you must keep in mind is that even though we are doing this we are doing what we do on one side we're doing on the other side even though we are doing it we don't show all this working out. So the simplest version is when we are taking addition and subtraction over, all we have to remember is do the opposite. So if it's positive 2x, when I take it to the other side of the equal to sign, it becomes minus 2x. If I had a positive 4, if I'm taking it to the other side of the equal to sign, it becomes minus 4. The ones that remain or don't move, we don't change those signs. Can you see the 3x? I didn't move it. So it's plus 3x and it stays plus 3x. If you look at the minus 9, it was minus 9. And then it didn't move. It's still on the right hand side. So it is still minus 9. Now after you've done that, what we're going to do is we're simply going to add 3x minus 2x is 1x. And here we have minus 9 minus 4 which is minus 13. So we have x is equal to minus 13. Now let us do a more complicated example. If I have the following example, 4 into x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 into x minus 2. Now what you must remember is all your simplifying rules. If you're not familiar with your simplifying, you need to go to our previous videos and learn simplifying. Now simplifying means getting rid of the brackets. But when you're getting rid of the brackets, remember your walls. So for the first one, we're going to say 4 times x, which gives me 4x. 
and then 4 times minus 3 gives me minus 12 is equal to now this x is not linked to the second term so we simply bring it down then we're going to say minus 3 times x gives me minus 3x and minus 3 times minus 2 gives me plus 6. Now we're going to get all the x's on one side and we're going to try and get all the constants on one side. So let's mark all the x's. Right, we're going to take this over the equal to sign. So what do we have? We have our 4x which we did not move. So we're keeping its sign. Then we have a positive x. We're moving it so it becomes minus x. And then we have a minus 3x which we're moving it becomes plus 3x. Now we've moved all the unknowns. Then we're going to take all the constants and we're going to try and keep them on the other side. Now if you look, the 6 we're not moving. So it's going to stay positive 6. But the minus 12 we're taking it to the other side of the equal to sign. So it becomes plus 12. So now we've got all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other side. Then we're simply going to add all of them. So 4x minus x is 3x. 3x plus 3x is equal to 6x. And on the right hand side we have 6 plus 12 which is equal to 18. Then we want to get x completely alone. Now what is the opposite of multiplication. Why am I saying multiplication? Because between the 6 and the x there is a multiplication. So the opposite of multiplication is divide. Now now what I do on one side I'm going to do on the other side. So I am going to divide. So I divided by 6 on one side and I divided by 6 on the other side. Now can you see I didn't say minus 6 because the opposite of multiply with 6 is to divide by 6, not to subtract. So when you're multiplying and dividing, there's no adding and subtracting. The sign that is there is the sign that goes. So what's 6 divided by 6? It's 1, so I have x is equal to 18 divided by 6 is 3. So I have x is equal to 3. Now let's do a fraction one. If I give you x over minus 3 is equal to 2. I want to get rid of the denominator. The denominator is minus 3. And what is the relationship between the denominator and the x? Can you see it's dividing? It is dividing. So the opposite of divide is multiply. So I'm going to multiply. But I'm going to multiply it with the entire number at the bottom. The entire number is minus 3. So I'm going to multiply it with minus 3 and what I do on one side I'm going to do on the other side. So I will have x is equal to minus 6 because this minus 3 would cancel with that minus 3 and then 2 times minus 3 is equal to minus 6. Thank you for watching this video.